a little bit older version this ID the development the last year so you see the, the all dependency injected properly and then it works this you do need nothing to do here just if you install new libraries it's automatically injected with this the package those JSON files and what I did the additional one because I said this is the enterprise level application I need to be communicate the, the geo server that's you I said here the geo server call even though you can flag it like from here and then call the configuration here and call the geo server from the from you your, your components that's I mean that's where the components because because the application will communicate with that lot of microservices application from the from Java or Spring Boot that's why I try to build the proxy JSON file here then I can quickly come up with the, with the, all the foxy setups and this is the I that's I said this is the it is hard to understand but it is the professional level application to how can structure it how can build it how can deploy the application is a professional level doesn't matter how many application how many machines you try to install but you just set up where your, your application where is your server located just you need to change here and it's automatically your application works it doesn't here there is nothing here to hard code it that's the important one because the there's a lot of applicate beginners and even though many years professional they have the, some problems they made the love hard coded or didn't did a maybe professional application then professional configurations and then they have a lot of issues for the deployment and the client side installation that's why i said to the enterprise level application this is a professional level configuration or setup and configurations you need to be really understand what he, he here is done so so you got the idea what the configuration started how the how the project structure how the dependency injected when install the new dependency how it is works and how it is done properly so let's have a start our components that's i said the the components is a is, is, is a main part of the, the angular typescript based components so if you see the components i say i have already about components and then how can you build the components that's the good questions and so I can stop the applications with them, and you can see the um, ng, ngc, ngg components, and then generate components, or you can write the component, give the component names, where where is component located. That's one of the components application. Very simple components. So if you go to the components here, so if you the, uh, the about components is the empty components. That's what I need into the into the my 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 applications. Just really very simple components, the application components. And this is the component for the header and footer components. There is something here, and this is the home components, just like empty components. When you try to build the components, uh, like service components, it's automatically create that these three files: the HTML files. You View files and then this is your CSS files or even though your SCSS for my case I use it here and these are TypeScript class files and here that I did the, all the components that you you all okay I stopped the application I cannot show you so this is the application this is the components I mean so this is the home components okay this is empty but but I stopped the application I need to be redone again sorry. So npm start, and it will be started the 406. When it started, then look for these components again. I will show you how the components look like, and then uh, maybe we can stop the, the other other pub applications and make it easier. So easy. So so then this is the components, the map components that I tried to discuss with you. That's our core development components and this map components we need for the other cases for these components and then you can component components like structure it like maps multiple maps component is building this with address components you can the, is it still not running and geo component geo map components the geo functionality is plot maps component unit components a lot of things is open layers component how many components you don't need it just everything you need to need to understand the, what, what I need the components so then we need two components like very fast component to to understand the 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 modify components so you did the draw modify back to features component to build so let's see close it everything so this is not too important for us 
so you have components and then you have the some test files you have the css file nothing there you have the the html files and then that's that's all so most important for you and like to understand the the class the typescript class and then html file and part of the stm css file so so application is running what i expected and this is the component each of the component but it's an empty component nothing nothing do it, that it doesn't do nothing so it doesn't it's just like empty components that's nothing so we have i have some translation components some english german and then francosish some translation components that's what i mean so you see the pictures is translated properly but if you're working as a software developer you know how the translation works uh, the translation components but default english you can go to bengali francosish and then this is the components that i wrote it in here i will show you how it is done so we define the components we build the components as a component commands and then we start the, our implementation this is need to be instant so in, in the applications what i need the all the necessary import i import the here the import and then necessary import that i need so import here see the 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 import from the well, open layers maps xyz tile maps on views and tile wms maps and uh, form groups i don't need it at that event http client at the moment you don't need it and here there's a css import and then all the import you have the the map scale import map overview import and then from the osn map control that's i i explain you this is the explanation from the from so i import the all the classes that i need default control classes map scale classes overview classes map switcher mouse positioning editor toolbar but i didn't use all of things that i only use these projects only there's the two the map scale a map line scale line and overview that's i that's it that's you get it from here this is the scale line and this is the overview maps that's here So, new maps. <clears throat> so I, I did the necessary declarations and then here I did the constant declarations or well any 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 type of the that side that's you know maybe you need to understand the what the type means maybe different type of data format doesn't matter number string or array or, or, or list or any objects it mean they all together any type of the data types is coming so on this one so uh, i define some some static values for like the coordinate systems here and then i define maps om maps and the sources layers style layers and this is the class of the of the open layers and view and geometry geometry type selection features and selected value maps and this is the that's 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 the definition of my 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 variables i can say this is the objects as a definite variable definitions and i have the constructor that's i said when you build the the one components the angular and then it's automatically build a one cons constructor empty constructor for each of the typescript class that means this is the component names you see the selectors the component names they use selectors they automatically created and it's created automatically your html page and automatically created your, 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 your CSS class, CSS files class. That's I show you here the HTML and CSS files. And then all the necessary import, and you have constraint because for my case, I need somehow to the HTML, uh, HTTP clients for the for the REST communications. And I put it, I didn't use it, but here the, I, I put it here like uh, the, my my URL call, my 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 geo server url call that i already show you here the geo, geo server url call here so you have the local host 77 geo server and you have the port the layer names that's in the geo server url base url i mean here local host which machine is located because my case is the local host and the port number geo server and the application yeah geo geo, geo, geo ub subgroup geo spatial and wms services and then layer names and then you put it everything here so basically uh, i put it constructor and then even though I, if i needed forms then i put it in form in the constructor level and on ng ng init 
that's the component automatically come this this method the the, the method by action